Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I want to show you how to use iOS 13 to capture a scrolling screenshot. Now, so far, this feature only is supported by the Safari browser. So let's go into Safari and I'm on CNET. So let's pick an article and let's just pick the first one, this Microsoft article. So all right, the Microsoft article then goes into a Galaxy Fold article. So let's just get into the scrolling article, how to, how to capture this. So what you want to do is, now you don't have to highlight anything or do anything else at this point. All you have to do is tap the power button and the volume up button simultaneously. So you just tap them both and release. And you'll see the image will come down here. Now you want to grab it fairly quickly because if you don't, It'll just go away and be saved in your photo gallery. And then you can't do any more editing or scrolling capture or nothing. So again, we'll tap the power button and volume up at the same time. Tap let go. Then we're going to tap down here to grab that. So now you're going to see you have the option of the screen, just a section right there that's on the screen, or full page. So I'm going to tap full page. And then you're going to see we have an option here to just scroll down and see all we're going to capture. So, okay, I don't want all this stuff about the Galaxy Fold article and everything else that comes after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop that out. Now, the cropping is a pretty cool feature, but it doesn't really work as well as it should. And let me show you why. So let's tap the cropping section because I don't want that, all that other stuff. I just want the section about the Microsoft. So let's tap cropping. And as you can see here, it is extremely difficult to see where you're going to cut off. Okay. And that I think is, it, it just, it should have more of a magnifying feature or something. But anyway, so you're pretty much a guessing game, but you can just grab, you can crop all this stuff out. I'm not even going to pull it back. We'll just do it together. And I believe right there was the start of the article about the full. And that's as, this is as good as it gets. And that's why I'm, I think it's, you know, it's a good idea having the ability to crop out part of a web page. But the fact that this is all you could see, you know, that's just really not that good. It needs more of a magnifier. But you do have the ability to do some cropping. Like you see, it's not that perfect. And like if I'm doing this like incorrectly or you know of a better way to get this done, please in the comments below, let me know. Because I just this is the best way I can figure out to do this cropping. But anyway, okay, we cropped it and we'll just tap done. Okay. So now we're gonna tap done again. Okay. Save PDF to files. Okay, now I save mine in the iCloud drive. You can save where yours wherever you want. If you want to save it directly to your device, if you want to save it to Google Drive, your choice. Okay, so I'm gonna tap save. Okay, let's go home and I'm going to go into files. Okay. iCloud Drive. And there's the screenshot I just saved. Let's see how I did with the cropping. Did I get out the part that I want it? Yep, I did pretty good. Captured the whole article, didn't crop out anything. That was critical. So that's it. That is how you capture scrolling screenshots on your iOS device running iOS 13. And again, like I said, if you know a better way to crop so it's not so difficult to do, you know, please let me know. Because that's the only way I can figure out, you know, if you do want to crop, crap, crop an article, that's the only way you can do it. But all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.